What's going on guys? This is Sean with MTC. Welcome back to my channel. And to the new viewers out there, as you guys already know, welcome. Guys, our previous video where I styled the Nike Blazers, that video just did absolutely insane. Like it surpassed a thousand views after just a few days. And I've never had a video perform that well. And just the comments, the likes, the shares, and just the kind words you guys have been sending my way, I can't thank you guys enough for all of that. And with this video today, I wanna to try to do the same thing. So if you guys could take a moment to like this video and also share it if you can, I would really, really appreciate it. Guys, with that said, we're gonna dive straight into the topic of today's video, which is slightly different than our usual videos. So this one, I am actually doing a classic confidential tag. Now, if you guys have never heard of that before, it's just a list of questions that I found on Google that's gonna allow us to kind of explore my wardrobe, explore my closet and pick out a couple different things and share it with you guys while answering some questions. And you, you guys will see what I mean in just a second. But if that sounds interesting, guys, I'm gonna dive straight into it with the first question. So in total, there are 15 questions on this list. So I'm gonna just fly through uh, the items and not really spend too much time talking about it because I don't wanna take too much of your time. So the first question is going to be, what is the oldest item in your wardrobe and closet? Now we're actually kicking this video off with a pair of sneakers and the oldest item in my closet will have to be these right here, the Nike Killshot 2 and the navy and the white colorway. This I probably got about five or six years ago and I got so much wear out of this. Like I wore this to work a ton and I wore this to school and walked around in it a bunch. Like it was like my go-to sneaker, my everyday sneaker and I got really good wear out of them and I just love the way they look. Like it's so clean, minimal and the gum bottom is just, it's a beautiful shoe, which is why I switched it to the white and the green pair, which I've shown you guys before. And that one's much, much cleaner and better condition. So this one will probably be my one of my oldest items in the closet. I just, I'm just pretty good about recycling things and donating and selling. So I don't keep things around too long, but if I had to choose one, it would have to be these. Now jumping to the second question, it is what is the newest item in your wardrobe and closet? So the newest addition to my wardrobe will have to be this black oversized t-shirt from who else? Cole Buxton. Yeah, guys, I've been eyeing this piece for quite some time now for for weeks and I've it's just been sold out in my size but I it restocked on end clothing and I've contemplated because I've already had a lot of cold bucks and pieces but I just pulled the trigger and I got it and I just love this t-shirt like the text on the back is very subtle it's minimal it's clean and just the fit of this shirt the quality the weight just everything that I love about cold Buxton as a brand it just yeah, it's a beautiful piece and I just, I can't, you can never have too many t-shirts, I feel like. So uh, I picked this piece up and it is my newest addition to my wardrobe. Now the third question on this list, it is what is the most expensive item? Now this is an easy one. It will have to be my leather jacket from All Saints. The retail price on this thing is slightly under 500 bucks. And it, it, I've been eyeing this piece for so long and I couldn't never buy it just because of the price point. And I just remember going in and out of the store whenever I went to that mall, which was very frequent and with no intentions of buying it just because I couldn't afford it. And I just wanted to try it on, look at the piece, just feel it. I was just in love with this leather jacket. And just one day I went there and I just ended up pulling the trigger on it. And I, I, I was so stoked to have it and I, I don't regret it at all. I think it was worth every penny that I invested into it. And when it comes to leather jacket, I'm all about investing and actually getting a genuine leather uh, instead of fake leather because I don't know, it just looks different. It feels different. It fits different. And when you get a genuine leather jacket, it's just going to last you a while. So I'm all about investing into your piece. And this one, of course, it was super expensive, but I don't know. It's one of my most worn pieces and I, I just love this jacket. Jumping into question number four, it is what was the biggest bargain? So my biggest bargain would have to be for this trucker or denim jacket from Levi's. I actually thrifted this jacket and it was during a time where I thrifted quite often, but I never found anything really. But one day out of the blue, I went and I came across this denim jacket and it was, the fit was impeccable. Like the color, the wash was just that classic navy wash and it paired up so well with everything that I owned. And I only paid nine 
$9.50 for this and it was it was a crazy steal and I just I was so stoked because I think this was my first denim jacket if I'm not mistaken and I got so much wear out of it and to only pay $9.50 I still wear it to this day and this was this has been like several years like you really can't go wrong now coming up on number five it is what was the biggest waste of money so the biggest waste of money in my wardrobe, it is this sweatshirt from the company Feet. It's their blanket blend sweatshirt. And if you guys have watched my video for quite some time now, you guys might've seen this being featured in one of my lookbooks. But no, let me preface before I say anything else, like that I really, really like this sweatshirt. Like it fits really nice, it's comfortable. But I say that it was the biggest waste of money because the retail on this thing, I think was like, 110 or 120 dollars and they really hyped it up saying that it's the it's the softest like sweatshirt that you'll ever own like that you'll ever try on and i bought into kind of like that hype and they just made it seem like this was going to be like silky smooth like i was looking forward to trying it on but once i got it in like yes the outside of it is really really soft um and after you wash it multiple times it just becomes softer but the inside it's really not that special to be honest with you like i don't like yeah it is comfortable but uh, is it 110 dollars 120 dollars worth like absolutely not so i think i wasted my money on this although i do like the piece i think i could have just gotten something um similar for a much much affordable price but yeah this this will be my biggest waste of money question number six it is what is the most affordable or cheapest item that you use a lot so this is another easy one for me i know it's not a clothing item but it has to be this rejuvenator sneaker wipe and this one, I think for 10, this box, I think it costs about like $10 or $15. If I can find the actual price, I'll throw it up. But I think that's a super affordable, cheap price to pay for something like this. It's a key to preserving the life of your shoes, especially your leather ones, like your white ones. Like I wear them all the time and it gets so dirty and I carry this with me and I use it on like the midsoles and just the leather part. And it just works so good. Like it cleans up your shoe and makes it look brand new. And that's how I'm able to kind of keep my shoes pretty clean. I might use this at the end of the day when I come home, but this is a must. I think you guys need to have it with you at all times, um, whether it's in your bag, car, like so you might spill something in your on your shoes and this will be your lifesaver when it comes to that so this one most affordable cheapest item and i use it a ton now jumping into question number seven it is what are your three favorite items right now so i'm just going to quickly fly through these the first item it is the crinkle nylon shorts from summit uk i know i featured this in a few of my videos and it's just so nice fits so well looks so good and if you guys want to see the styled with the nike blazers check out my previous video Second item will have to be this denim jacket from Madewell. I just love the weight of it, the wash. There's some distressing and I don't know, it just looks fantastic. And this is one of my favorite pieces. And lastly, it is my Cole Buxton warm up tee. And I always rave about this t-shirt to you guys, but the fit, the quality, all that good stuff it's perfect it's a perfect everyday t-shirt so these three items i would have to say are my three favorite items right now now jumping into question number eight it is what is your favorite piece that you've gotten as a gift so if you guys caught my video several weeks ago on the ultra boost you guys would know that this has to be my favorite item in my wardrobe that i received as a gift and if you guys want to know the reasoning behind it definitely go and check out that video i'll make sure to link it down below but long story short i've just never wanted a piece as bad as i wanted these and the fact that i was gifted these it's just absolutely amazing and so memorable and I just can't get myself to get rid of this and it's been several years now and I think it, I'm gonna be holding on to this for for a long long time so this has to be my favorite item that I received as a gift so going to the next question number nine it is what is the most comfortable item so to answer that question another pair of shoes or sandals I can say and it is these Birkenstocks and this could also be my newest addition to my collection but I know Birkenstocks at the more you wear it the more comfortable it gets so I will have to say these and I just can't wait to get like a bunch of wear out of them in the summer and going to the beach and I just love the way they look and I just got that classic black ones because I don't know it just looks so good but Birkenstock would have to be 
the most comfortable item in my wardrobe. So moving on to question number 10, it is what is the most outrageous or colorful item in your closet that you absolutely love? So I definitely wouldn't use the word outrageous to describe this piece, but it's definitely the most colorful piece that I have in my wardrobe. And it's this Cuban collared floral t-shirt from the company 28 Palms. And I actually got this off of Amazon, Amazon Fashion. I think it's a great place to shop. And I just love this piece. Like the blue and the white, the red, orange, the way it works together, it's so good. And I am in love with Cuban collared like floral shirts for the summer and I have a ton of them. And this one was like a newer addition to the collection, but it's so comfortable, it's so breathable, and it just looks so good if you pair it up with something simple for the bottom. But yeah, this has to be the most colorful one, but it's definitely not the most outrageous. Jumping into question number 11, it says, what is the most uncomfortable item, but you would take the pain because you love it? Now, I'm going to skip this question just because comfort is a huge component of what I look for when I do go out shopping and I just don't pick things up that are not comfortable. So, I, I mean, I tried looking for one, something in my wardrobe, but it's just, I don't know, there wasn't anything and I couldn't answer this question, which is why I won't. I know it's not fair and you guys might not like it, but I don't know, a comfort is like a huge thing that I look for. So I will never pick up something that's not comfortable. So question number 12, it is where do you shop the most at? Right now, I would say it's either ASOS or Cole Buxton. I just love those two brands and the items that they carry. I do shop more at Cole Buxton right now than I do at ASOS. At ASOS, I just picked up a couple of different things, but Cole Buxton, every piece that I get, they never fail me and I just love the aesthetics and the like the design and the fit of all of their items so and if i could buy out the entire website i definitely would um maybe it'll get to that point sooner or later but yeah cold boxing would definitely be the answer all right question number 13 it says pick your favorite black item and your favorite white item now i'm going to be using this piece one more time in this list but my favorite black item is going to be this one this oversized t-shirt that i showed you earlier from cold buxton and it, for the same exact reason i stated earlier but the white my favorite white piece in my wardrobe is have to be this t-shirt from ASOS White. I know a lot of you guys like it too because a lot of you guys reach out to me asking where it's from and I actually had this one guy who ordered the same shirt because of that video. But yeah, these two are my favorite items in my wardrobe right now that are black and white and I don't know, just this design of both is very minimalistic and it's simple and it's clean and that really is my aesthetic and just the fit of them and the ripped collar, I'm a huge fan. So these these two are my favorite items in my work. All right, so we're coming down to the final stretch here. Question number 14, something you love but everyone else hates. So I thought long and hard about this one too and not to sound like, not to come off like as I'm bragging or cocky or whatever, like I really don't wanna sound that way, but my style is pretty simple and minimalistic and just, a, I think I do a pretty good job of picking pieces that I myself like, but a lot of other people do as well. So there's nothing too loud or like risky in my wardrobe that people, I don't know, I don't know people don't like. So that being said, I didn't wanna skip another question. So if I had to choose one that wasn't a clothing item, I would say an energy drink because I myself love energy drink. I would even go to say that it's an essential to my life or essential to me, but I know a lot of people, they kind of say like, oh, you, you gotta stop drinking that stuff. It's gonna, you're gonna have a heart problem. It's gonna kill you. It's really bad for you. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't know. It, that's one of the things that I absolutely love, um, but I know a lot of people aren't a fan of it. So our last and final question, question number 15, it says something that you're excited to wear soon. So I really didn't understand what this question meant. I don't know if it was asking for something in my wardrobe right now that I haven't worn yet that I'm looking forward to wearing or something that I'm looking on purchasing in the future. But after thinking about it, I did have an answer to this question, a good one, and it has to be the Nike Spiridon Cage 2 in the silver colorway. And this one I actually order, ordered off of GOAT um, a few weeks ago and I'm just waiting for it to come in the mail. And I, I thought it was just gonna be a really good summer sneaker. And I don't know, it's very different from a lot of the sneakers that I own. So I was, wanted to pick one up. I saw a lot of YouTubers like style them and the Stussy collabed one and it looked really good. And I just wanted to try it out. So I have that coming in the mail. And when it comes, I'm probably gonna do like an unboxing video or a sneaker pickups video because there are other sneakers that I've picked up recently. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But that would have to be 
the piece that I'm looking forward to wearing soon. And that's gonna wrap up the video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys did, make sure you guys let me know by clicking that thumbs up button if you haven't already. And guys, leave it in the comment section down below. Answer one of these questions. I know it's gonna be too much to answer all 15, but pick one of these questions. I'll list them down below and answer one of them. And I wanna get to know your wardrobe a little bit, just like you got to know mine. So definitely leave that comment down below. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel just yet, make sure you do so and click that notification bell so you guys get updates whenever I post a new video. And with that said, if you guys aren't following me over on Instagram, Instagram has really become like that platform where I'm getting connected with a lot of you. And a lot of you guys are reaching out to me with questions on fits, items, or just saying hi. So I don't know, I enjoy that a lot. So make sure you follow me over on Instagram at MTC and BMT and let's get connected over there. And guys, if you guys watch this video all the way to this last bit, I love each and every single one of you and and I'll catch you guys in the next one.